Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain. Yes, let the vaccines begin. The vaccines have begun to go out today in Australia. And the birds in this park are celebrating with their squawking. The new world order is here, ladies and gentlemen. We'll sit around and talk about it tonight on the report. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, vaccines go out today. Now, um, obviously there are different opinions about the vaccine. I mean, obviously there is the possibility that they're safe. I mean, um, that the main motivation of the globalists behind the COVID vaccine, uh, whether the event was planned or not, is that they just want to make a whole bunch of money, which is normally their um, usual motivation for the things they do. So there is a, there is a possibility that these vaccines are safe. Um, which vaccine, I'm not entirely sure. Um, the two that are going to be available in Australia are the Pfizer and the AstraZeneca. The Pfizer is an RNA vaccine. Uh, I spoke to a GRP, a GP who I know. He said, look, I probably wouldn't take the, uh, the RNA one at the moment, but um, I would, uh, you know, maybe take the AstraZeneca. The AstraZeneca doesn't have a, uh, the success rate for treating, uh, for being effective. It's not as effective with the AstraZeneca, but I do believe it's slightly safer. There's actually one called uh, COVAX-19 that comes out of Adelaide that is not being promoted. At all. I don't even think it's been approved yet. That one actually appears quite safe because they were actually um, studying the SARS virus, trying to create a vaccine for that. And when COVID came along, they moved from SARS to COVID. And so they had a lot of research and obviously the two diseases are kind of similar. So uh, that one called COVAX-19 out of Adelaide, um, I think the doctor's name is Dr. Petrovsky. I think he's connected to it. I think that's the guy's name. Um, that one could be safe, um, but at the moment they're still just applying for um, ability to mass produce it and all that kind of stuff. So. Um, you know, I really think we are in, um, you know, a kind of New World Order kind of event. Um, you know, people wonder, uh, when does the New World Order begin? Well, it's begun, ladies and gentlemen, we're in it. And uh, this kind of mandatory vaccine, you see the talk of, um, you know, this vaccine, this talk that it's going to be kind of mandatory in the sense that you might need it to go to a pub, you might need it to travel on a plane. But I do believe at this stage, that's just um, kind of media huff to basically, um, you know, pressure and... Uh, as many people as possible into taking the vaccine. So, look, if you feel you want to take it, and really this is the bottom line too, if you feel uh, you want to take it, go ahead and take it. And if you feel you don't want to take it, well, then don't take it. Um, uh, my personal opinion is, is I don't want to take it, um, but I, I'm not, it's not as if, um, you know, after, say, six to eight months or a year or even two years, I, I might change my mind depending... I mean, I'm not completely anti... I'm not an anti-vaxxer, basically. I'm just interested in safe vaccines. So uh, I think that should be the position of everybody. And obviously they're still testing this one and they're still going to be testing it for a couple of years. And obviously they've gone into live trials with human beings over in the UK and now in Australia and in America. So we're going to see the results, uh, uh, um, long, more long-term effects within a year or two of what this does to people. And uh, um, I guess if that means maybe um, you know, altering one's lifestyle, not travelling as much over the next year or two, that might, be, that might be necessary for some people. But I don't believe they're going to be able to... Um, you know, bring in these kind of restrictions because they're too um, totalitarian. I think it is using the threat of them now to get as many people as they can to get vaccinated. So that's what I wanted to say on the report for Tug Out. So thank you for listening. Cheers.